socioeconomic rights and accountability project SERAP has sent an urgent complaint to the United Nations Working Group on arbitrary detention over the arbitrary detention and degrading treatment of deposed Emir of Kano Mohammed Sanusi II. Sarab said, and I quote, the arrest and continued detention of Emir Sanusi Lamido Sanusi is an egregious violation of his human rights. According to the body, the Nigerian and Kano state authorities have violated the following rights under the Nigerian Constitution 1999 as amended and international law in continuing to detain Emir Sanusi. The right to be free from arbitrary detention, the right to freedom of movement, and the right to due process of law. In the complaint, dated 11th March 2020 and signed by Serap Deputy Director Kola Wale Uluwadari, the organization said, and I quote, the detention of Emi Asanusi constitutes an arbitrary deprivation of his liberty because it does not have any legal justification. And now Ade Tokumbo Mumuni, the Executive Director of Serap, joins us live in the studio to make sense of this matter. Good to have you here. It's a pleasure being here. I'm now, grateful. Uh, first of all, we've seen that Serap uh, has filed a complaint. Uh, but the question is, why going as far as the United Nations? You see, when, when things like that happen in Nigeria, and when we see that the extant law of the land will not be followed, it is better to internationalize the issues hmm. so that people from the outside world will look into it and probably call the federal government and by extension the Kano state government to order. And I will realize that when these calls are made by external bodies, the government of Nigeria tends to listen. That just suggests that we don't take ourselves seriously. If we need international body to intervene but, but, on matters that concern us. It has, it has become part of what you have seen repeatedly. And that we see when the options that you see faces you leaves no choice but to go international, you go international. Mm -hmm. Because there is no way you can be talking about the Nigeria as a separate thing, mm -hmm. rather than as a part of the big world. Nigeria uses the best phones, they access internet, so you cannot in one breath be saying Nigeria is a part of the global village, mm -hmm. and you are now saying this is a matter that is different from so it's an interconnected world. Thank you very speak. much. All right, now let's talk about the, uh, the rights. Uh, the, the complaint is that his, the rights of the deposed emir uh, mm -hmm. have been violated. Can you shed more light? On no, no, you see, let me say straight away that the point you are making is not that the emir service cannot be removed. Okay. Because the right to be the emir of Kanu is not a fundamental human right. Right. As a matter of fact, the Supreme Court said it in the case of um, Tukor, versus governor of Gungula State in those days, mm -hmm. around 1987 or thereabout. So the Supreme Court said so, that, that you, have, you don't have a right to be an emir. Mm -hmm. It is not an, an, a fundamental, fundamental human right. Human rights. But an emir is a Nigerian, an emir a is being. a human being. So all the rights that, 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 that pertains to a woman being mm -hmm. attaches to an emir. Mm -hmm. So nobody says the right to be an emir is a fundamental human right. But you don't have a right to detain him. Okay. You don't have a right to degrade him. So those are the issues that we are conversing. Mm -hmm. We are not saying it cannot be removed because the right to be an emir is not a fundamental human right. Okay. So your focus is in the manner of yes, the, 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 the treatment. Yes, the subsequent harassment, detention, mm -hmm. you understand? Those mm -hmm. are the points we are making. All right. Um, now, still on that matter, we saw that when he was deposed, he yes. made a video speech to say he's accepted it as the will of Allah, as the will of God. But we saw him again move to court uh, almost immediately. What do you think would have informed the change no, no, of no, mind? No, 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 perhaps when issues happen to you, mm -hmm. you may not have the immediate benefit of another opinion okay. to look at the matter closely with you. Mm -hmm. Probably he now has the benefit of diverse opinion mm -hmm. and a lot of people. So he has, you see, once the council gives you a right, you can't say you want to abandon it. You can't say you don't want to claim that right. Mm -hmm. Because once the council gives you a right, it, in, it inheres in you forever. But you may say you don't want to enforce it. Mm -hmm. But now that the, the, the Emir happens to have the benefit of 
diverse opinion mm -hmm. is entitled to, 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 to change. Mm -hmm. So it's not out of place? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, we saw also, you know, in that um, complaint that the suit that was filed, that uh, the respondents are the IGP, uh, D the DSS director, the attorney general, uh, uh, attorney general, uh, general of Kano State and of, of the federation. state, uh, the federation. Now, how are these people culpable in this? Why are they involved, really? You see, we know, we know that each of Illegal detention is there. Mm -hmm. Issue of banishment is there, and the, 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 you see, of his freedom. Yes, you see, the, 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 what the MI is trying to do is to cover the field. Okay, it's better to hear on the side of volumes rather mm -hmm. than uh, now say this person is not covered by the order that you are seeking. Mm. So once you are mentioning it. It is now for you to say, I'm not a part in this matter. Mm -hmm. You can, you are, you are entitled to bring an application to say, get me out of the matter because it doesn't concern me. Mm -hmm. It's a matter for the Kano state government. Mm -hmm. So why I mention that to the general federation? It let the general federation now says, but it has nothing to do with it. Mm -hmm. But we know that Shetansi matter is a state matter. Yeah. That is clear. It is already established by a lot of judicial authorities that shift and see matters are state matters. Mm -hmm. Because the power to appoint an emir is the power that belongs to state. Mm -hmm. The power to appoint an oba is the power that belongs to state. The power to appoint an obi is the power that belongs to state. So mm -hmm. if the Attorney General now says, why will you involve me? He has a right to bring an application that he be struck off the matter. All right, thank you so very much for always obliging us and leaving us better informed. It's a, it's a pleasure, my All right, we've been speaking to Mumuni Adetokumbo of Serap. Thank you.